In less than 40 seconds, call out search and rescue begins. It's a brand new episode, so you'll want to stick around for that. Meantime, I need to show you something. Snow. Do you see it on somebody's back deck? This is Bombertown, Ontario, and yeah, this is essentially much of northwestern Ontario's weather story for today. But through the overnight, that system, it's going to be pushing into northern Ontario. So areas like Wawa through to Timmins, north of that, it's all going to be snow. You're going to be seeing through the overnight into your Monday as well. And eventually, that area of low pressure is going to sink south, affecting southern Ontario. GTA rain on the drive home. Call it search and rescue begins now. I personally get very nervous when people I love go out snowmobiling. That's why I find this particular episode of Call Out Search and Rescue quite suspenseful. So it continues in less than 30 seconds. Meantime, I want to show you a video from yesterday getting into the spirit of Halloween. This was in St. John's, the fourth annual zombie walk. And it was very overcast, a little overcast as well throughout the day today, but it was much better. That would have been a better day actually today for that kind of thing. Meanwhile, Monday morning looks like this across the country. Uh, yeah, that snow you're seeing in Regina, zero. It's going to be zero there and uh, quite cool, but it's going to be above seasonal through the east came from though yeah wrong that's not getting me into the mood for winter uh, but it certainly is looking a lot like it to the northern part of the country or part of the province I should say we actually have a snowfall warning in effect for places in and around Geraldton here's why up to 15 centimeters of snow but with that same system we're gonna be getting 5 to 15 millimeters of rain and this is for tomorrow as we head back to work and back to school mostly gonna be a late day story and here's a look at the next three days for us not so bad a little on the mess so side, like I mentioned, a little bit of rain. 16 is your high, and then it's going to be getting quite cool, below seasonal. We have a really quirky video here, Mike. Okay. Not a girls on our website, too, about the fact that they're responsible for taking down power lines in some places. It's a funny story. Okay, here's that low emerging. We're going to be seeing some showers ahead of it, also along the cold front as it comes by. Now, protecting our crops in freezing temperatures. Have a look at this story as well, how it affected the country. Those details to follow, but in the meantime, it's now all about us in the GTA. Kasia Padurka with you here on this Sunday evening. I'm going to tell you how you should be dressing for your Monday as we head back to work and back to school. And here's a hint, bring your rain gear. A late day rain story for us. But to the north, you know, we got to consider ourselves lucky because we do have a snowfall warning to the north. But that same system as it sinks south will be bringing us just a little bit of rain, uh, especially on our way home as we're heading out uh, from work. Let's say it's going to be windy, it's going to be rainy, kind of on the messy side. So just a heads up. Let's go to Red Lake and see what that messy stuff looks like. We do have a warm front approaching, and that's why we do have a lovely daytime high of 16. And then throughout that, we do have the rain showers, better chance ahead of that cold front towards our evening hours. So just a heads up. And then Wednesday shouldn't be so bad, but cooler. All right. I talked about the tornado off the top that happened in the Netherlands. Now, how do we rate these tornadoes? Here's Jacqueline Whittall.